Hi, everybody. Welcome to Call of Cthulhu, our next adventure in the circus arc. Last week, we had a um, variety of shenanigans go down. Um, we got to learn some backstory stuff. Um, we got to learn kind of more in detail regarding Ginny's backstory, regarding backstory involving the pastor. Um, we got to see Wolf. And Mary Ann again, yay! <laughs> um, we also got to hear the wonders of Petunia. Um, I think that's pretty much the gist of everything. Um, oh, yes, there's mentions of the Miskatonic University that came up. Um, is there anything else? We talked to the child of Yip. Yig, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yes, the child of I, Yip. I, I hope it's not the child of Yip. This is not the server for that. <laughs> I heard Yip. <laughs> like Yip Yip. <laughs> I also <laughs> heard Yip. <laughs> no, I said Yip. Yeah, we talked to Joshua, <laughs> the child of Yig, and then yeah. Laura and Louise freaking nail the asking Ginny questions and being smooth. That's I got follow up too. <laughs> Speaking of which, that's where we're going to start. So, Louise, you're rubbing Ginny's back. She's told you some of her trauma backstory. Um, yeah, she's not doing great, but, you know, she's she's not smacking you across the face. So, you know, plus, plus there. So, what would you like to do? That's how you get the info, Stem, on to learn some tricks from the criminal bartender. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so, Louise is going to rub her back, and she does have a couple follow-up questions. She's going to give her a breather or whatnot, and just kind of gently be like, Hold on, hold on. I gotta find the right phrasing. I'm too tired for this. Shit. Um, Mood. She's, I know, I stayed up till four. Um, she's gonna rub her back and be like, oh no. Well, Sha, oh. <laughs> well, you gotta look at the good stuff too. I mean, actually, you're here at the circus. You're wildly successful at what you do, ain't you? Yes. <laughs> and, I mean, the ring I, I mean to be quite frank ma'am I thought the ringmaster was your father um did he kind of find you take you in uh yes yeah after mm -hmm. after my mother's passing he adopted me oh that that's real nice of him I mean not many men would I mean, only good men would adopt, you know, young girls on their own or even kids in general. How did y'all meet? Did Were you friends of the family or? Uh, go ahead and roll me a persuade. <laughs> 18. All right. Okay. Um, so pause for a second and then she is going to be, kind of look between you two. Um, before she's like, well, my, after the incident, he was there at the hospital where my mother was as well. She, she thought she was a snake. She only crawled. She She's going to trail off, and he, I, I guess he was one of the officers who arrived to the scene after mm, the neighbors found me and found what happened, and she kind of, sh kind of does like that soft little shrug of like, yeah, that's kind of the gist of the information. Um, Luis is gonna follow up and be like, oh, he, he was a police officer? My big brother Benny's 
actually a police officer. He works with homicide. I'm expecting him to come around the corner at any moment and whip my behind. I will be honest. (laughs) (laughs) I did nothing, and it's still going to be my fault. That's just how it is with big brothers, especially, you know, him being in law enforcement and all that. Um, I mean, did... I mean, it, it's kind of ingenious going from that to a circus. It seems an odd career choice. She's gonna. Can I? I, I'm not entirely sure. I. She kind of shrugs. He, he, doesn't really talk much about um. What he does outside of the circus. Um, most I know is that he. Sometimes he talks with police officers and stuff in other, in some of the places we are at, but usually that's just, I guess, kind of as like a precaution in case, kind of gestures towards the back of like, you know, in case we have accidents. No, it's good to have friends in our places. I mean, I just, listen, I know police officers do not make a lot of money. I know that firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I don't know if a circus would make more. I mean, did you start real small here at the, the I mean, does a circus make more? <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> oh <laughs> she is she kinda of, like I I mean, I don't really have anything to compare it to, so I don't know. <laughs> To be fair, she's been here since she was six. She has been around for a But she kind of shrugs in that, like, I'm not entirely sure, actually. Um, do, you, do you like moving around from place to place? Is, I mean, I mean, I'm one that I've got roots here so deep, I don't think I can ever leave the city. Do you, do you like moving around constantly? And Yeah, it's it's really nice to see all sorts of different people. And all the different things like that. And before today, you felt safe, especially with Ringleader Fox? Ringmaster Fox, Ringleader Fox, interchangeable. Thank you. I was unsure. Um... I mean, you feel safe being here with him, and, and I mean, y'all look like a pretty close-knit family. How did y'all find each other? It's astounded to me to have found family. Oh, uh, I mean, those, that, that's quite a, that's a very loaded question, Miss LeBlanc. <laughs> I could, there are I'm so sorry. many stories for how people come and go with the circus stuff. Well, I love hearing stories. We can go sit down for a bit. I can get you a lemonade. Take a breather. Um, I, as much as I'd really appreciate that, Miss LeBlanc, I think I should go check on Ringmaster Fox, see if he's done with the officers or if they need help. Maybe they were able to find my weapon or something like that. Um, certainly. And I'll keep an eye out for them papers or that pistol. I don't think it's right anybody stole from you, miss. So I'll try to keep an eye out. Thank you so much. And with that, she's going to kind of turn and she's going to go out. Yeah. Laura. So... (laughs) <laughs> Laura <laughs> looks to Laura. Do you know the drawing with the green eyes? Yes. I have suspicions. Mm. I think yes. the is hiding stuff. <laughs> Want to meet up with the others and tell them what we found out? 
I think we'd better. All right. And then with that, we will transition over to Bill. Our lovely boy, Bill. Ta-da. So, Bill, you've just been talking with Joshua and learning all sorts of fun stuff involving Yig. Your sister's here, so you're able to catch up with her. And Martin and co. And Jack and William are there as well. <sighs> yeah, we learned some lovely information. Like, Yig takes the form of a uh, cobra-headed person. Um, I got some sweet, sweet cab money from Wolf. Um, and, uh, yeah, harvesty fall, fall god thing. Mm -hmm. He was there with Archie during the thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do, honestly. <laughs> do you want to roll a spot hidden? I, yes, I would like to roll a spot hidden. <laughs> Alrighty. Thank you. That is a d20, not a... I am starting out strong, everybody. <sighs> I rolled a 15 out of oh. 70. Okay. So, great. doing a quick kind of glance around, um... Martin's talking to Petunia, or at least listening intently to Petunia. Um, you're seeing Jack and William, and uh -huh. then behind, behind those two, kind of at the ticket booth, seeming to talk to, or just kind of leaning against it, is our overly dressed man for the Louisiana summer. Okay, do I need to roll to remember? But I've had a conversation with this gentleman before and that he's looking for his dad, or can I just have it? Let's have it. Let's see what let's see where it goes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so um Bill spots this dude on the horizon. And he's like, he said he was looking for a Martin Brick. There's no way. This coincidence. You know what? Whatever. We've had weirder things happening today. So he's gonna go over to Brick. And he's going to be like, hey, hey, Brick. Yeah. Do you remember if you have any family or you said you're from Montana, right? Anything on that? Mm, no. <laughs> that you don't remember or you don't have family mm. or you're not from Montana? Yeah. Well, we've established that I am, in fact, from Montana. This is based on my handshake alone. That is an absolute fact. As yes, far it's as a very strong family, handshake. I mean, I guess I got William. He's a kind of family. I have Petunia. She's kind of family. Robert, but he's dead. Can I? introduce you to somebody that I met today. I, I Why you look you look at me adopted? I don't think I'm a great mother. <laughs> no, um he was really looking for information about, you know, riding life on the rails and he was looking for somebody that kind of matched your description. But he seems like he had a lot I'm of really anybody recently. What? What? Did you say you mugged somebody? No. I did not say that. I said I haven't mugged somebody recently. <clears throat> um, can I just ask you this favor, please? I mean... Come with me. It's like... Sure. over there. Cool. Yeah, why not? I mean, you have yet to steer me wrong, except for you've been there when every negative thing in my life has happened so far in the last week. But, you know, I like ya. <laughs> you've only known so him for a day! <clears throat> like I said, every bad thing that happened in the last week, Bill's been present. But, like I... It's I a Thursday! Sorry, 
when I meant it. I don't hold grudges for Petunia. Petunia holds her own grudges. Okay. If your beef is with Petunia, you'll have to work it out together. Okay. Look, can you just follow me, please? Thank yeah, sure. You. Um, Bill, are uh, you going to say anything to Marianne real quick? Yeah, I'm just going to be like, I'll, I'll be one second. Be right back. Okay, like, she nods. Oh. Um, uh, I'm going to call out because I'm going to be like, what's his name? What's his name? Uh, Andrew? It's Andrew, right? He's going to turn like, oh, yeah. Uh, Bill? Is- yeah! I mean, I'm sure you've met somebody. Is this your... This is not a brick? What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> He's not a hoodlum. He was I have for you. not taken your money, have I? No. No, no, it's not that at all. Martin. Martin, roll me oh. a luck. <laughs> oh, no. 88. 88? You recognize this man as your son, Andrew. And your face betrays that you recognize it. And Andrew's going to study you for a minute and be like, Dad? No. Good. No. (laughs) No. I'm sorry. Can't, no. No, 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 not possible. He's gonna keep no, no. stepping closer. Brick, Brick no. it's wrong. It's not possible. Mm-mm. No. Why isn't it possible? You said you don't remember. It is you. So- Dad, I, you're alive. It's very awkward, kind of like, do I go in for hug? Do I go in for handshake? Yeah, but you're there. Um, don't. Who? What? Uh, I'm sorry. You said your name was what? I, I'm Andrew. Uh, who's like? No, I don't know any Andrew. Oh, oh no, Andrew! Fast talk, please. Martin, are you feeling okay? Uh, sixty-two. Oh wait, no, sorry, this is a ninety-two. <laughs> I don't even think I have fast talk as a skill. No, so you're just at a, like a, at a five. Would you like to press that roll and try no. again, or no? Uh, no. Um, what are, what are, what are you doing here? I was looking for you. Where is she supposed to be at? Back home. I'm I'm looking for you. I ever since you 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 disappeared, I've been trying to find you. I mean, but but what? Oh my god. But why? Cause you're my dad. <laughs> it's gonna kind of look at you like, ah. You, I, I, you. Look, when you fall off a horse, that's one thing. When you get kicked in the head by a horse, that's another thing. I don't. I needed to make sure you didn't just walk off and become a zombie or something. <laughs> I thought you were dead. You didn't have zombies. Or, you know what? <laughs> Things being what they are, zombies might be real, but. You don't. You don't. You don't need me. You don't need me. Like, I. Awkward. It's been. Ugh. It's been what? Almost three years? I... Yes! It's been three years. But. It's okay. You're, you're doing, you're doing fine. You don't, you don't need me. I mean, I'm not good for much these days. Uh, you're a grandfather now, Dad. I'm a what? 
Yeah! Your grandfather! Oh, congratulations! Are, are you the dad? No, so no, 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 I'm not. I'm no. not me, my older brother. Oh. Oh. You said you didn't have kids. Um, I, I, I didn't think I did, but I guess that I do. Yeah, Morgan. He's, he's got a. Yeah, he. Oh. He and Blair have a couple of kids now. For Grandpa. That's so good to hear. I think. Um. <laughs> I'm sure you may have noticed that. I guess I've been working through some stuff kind of maybe sort of um i got help though uh you look good you uh you seeing anyone <laughs> let me introduce you to my new friend bill oh you'd oh. like each other <laughs> good handshake this one Hi, I've, we've met earlier. Nice yeah, to meet you again, Andrew. We've, yeah, we've met, Dad. But Sorry, mm, this is awkward. It's fine. <laughs> but you're the one that did this. Look, oh, Dad. Um, so I guess, uh, Andrew, I guess the question is, uh, what now? I mean, you can come home with me and... See everybody. Be good. And and miss out on what is sure to be a whirlwind adventure? I mean, it's been three years. I I don't know if I don't know if I can go back. Your mom's probably moved on by now. No. She hasn't. I sure I sure know that Philly just moved on. I mean she fucking left me out in the field. That's cool. Is that the horse <laughs> that supposedly kicked you in the head? Yeah. You, you mean Petunia? Yeah. Well, I mean, Martin, if you do go back with your son, you can always take Petunia with you. It's not like she has to stay here. No, Bill. Good. The other horse, her name was Petunia. But Junior's the one that kicked me in the face and made me forget shit. Yeah. The reason I left the farm. Yeah, she's... Petunia's no longer there. Uh, About the dog. <laughs> Dog's still alive? Yeah. And the cats? Yeah. By the goldfish? Which All right. one? Um, Which one? <laughs> that's a good sign. If we don't, if you can't tell them apart, that's a good thing. <laughs> it means that my darling's been taking care of the fish. Um, <laughs> I just look on his face of like, wait, hold on. If I can't tell the difference between the gold, <laughs> just kind of that, that means there's that means there's a lot of them. I'm assuming. I'm not sure. Um, Andrew, I'm, I'm still needed here. His, his face is going to fall a little bit, but he's I, like, it's like, all right, I, can I at least tell everybody back home where you are, that you're alive? I mean, he's been a train hobo, so I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be here. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. So, you know, just wanted to what? let my son know that everything here worked out great. Like, <laughs> you seem like you're very successful at it, though. You've had many adventures. You took care of a snake without getting bit. That's pretty accomplished, I'd say. That's standard back home, Bill. I don't know. Just average back home. I don't think you're very average. Man average. Got Kid in the face by a horse because of a snake. Got startled by a snake and fell out. Yeah, but, 
to, to be fair, Run the head. are monstrous beasts. The fact that they do anything with humans is a <laughs> miracle. So, honestly, getting kicked in the face by one and living and they are crafty at both ends and dangerous in the middle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wrong. They're but dangerous still at both ends and crafty in the middle. But she lives, Martin. That's I, pretty extraordinary. Yeah. Most people don't live when they get kicked well, in the face you. by a horse. Thank you for the moment of confidence. But see, Andrew, what say you to this? We'll finish up here, and when the circus is done, we'll we'll head home. Eyes are gonna brighten up. All right. Yeah, that the. I mean, I don't really have much to do now that the circus is, um, <laughs> big gesturing to what's going. Um, on. I'm pause. You see, um, your daddy here has to take care of a a snooman problem. Snooman. Um, that if we don't, yes, the snake humans. I don't know. Bill, Bill, I don't know how much we should tell him about our predicament yeah, with the Sneeple. The Sneeple? You know, Andrew, um, you've, ne- you've, you've never been to New Orleans, right? There, I, I have heard I, marvelous things about I, this place called Cafe Du Monde. You oh, should yes, check it it's out. really nice. Um, I can give you the address to the tourism department. I work there. Oh, Louise's there. fifth boyfriend swears by their beignets, so try it out. Fifth, fifth boyfriend? boyfriend? Fifth? Who's that? What? Uh, huh? <laughs> it's just like I think you'd like Louise. Me. I can introduce you. Uh, <laughs> it's, okay. Dad, I'm just, you know what? I'm just glad to see you again. Um. Be honest, Aunt you, this is a huge amount of mixed emotions for me. Yeah. But glad is one of them. Are you two gonna hug? Manly hug? It's gonna be the, it is gonna be the dustiest hug. Alright. <laughs> Is it one of those, like, begrudgingly, like, opens arms, like, uh, and then, like, uh, pat, pat, pat? Is it one of those hugs? Martin is going to hand you Petunia. (laughs) Bill is going to guard Petunia as if his life depended on it. And he's going to do it. Because Bill, because Martin has a very big fist. So (laughs) biggest, dustiest hug. Dusty hug. Aw, dusty hug between the two. Bill, is there anything you would like to do? Um, no, I'm kind of chill with watching as this pans out, because Bill is kind of awkwardly, like, I mean, I don't know really what I expected, but, like, this is kind of awkward, and, like, I'm happy for them. Like, did I do good? He's kind of like, I don't... I don't know how to really process this because I can't tell if, like, did I do a good thing? Was this helpful? Like, Andrew seems okay, pretty chill. But he's just like, I'm just, I'm just going to be a bear witness to this event, I guess, and hold Petunia. Okay. But also, I could really use a fucking, either an herbal cigarette or a joint. (laughs) But holy shit, my sister's only 25, 30 feet away, so... Speaking of your sister, I don't think she needs to know that about me. <laughs> she's gonna kind of, kind of do like the little peek around, kind of like, "Hey, I'm, I'm kind of, Hi. you can kind of see me." She's like, she's gonna just do like a, yeah. She does like a little wave, and then she's gonna kind of point to her face, and then make a wiping motion of kind of like, "Hey, I'm going to go change out of the costume." Oh, okay. I will. S- I'll catch up to you later, kind of thing. Because it's like, she's... You know, she's... Yeah, and then she's gonna go. Huzzah! Be here? Okay. Gestures in. Yeah. I'm like, I need to actually say what I'm gesturing, because we're not recording the cameras. Yeah. Like, gesturing, vaguely, shrugging, like, uh. 
Yeah. Okie doke. No more problems. Yep. All right. And with that, she she heads off. Um. Brick. Only a spot hidden, please. Eighty-seven. <laughs> I'm sucking it up today. Roll me a luck, please. <laughs> Do I get jumped by a snooman? Because that'd be great. <laughs> We're gonna die, Wendy! We're gonna die! Phil, well, would you like to roll a, a spot hidden? Just to see how this goes down, see if you witness this? <laughs> witness me. Witness my death. Fouls. <laughs> you see a large... Large rattlesnake. Does it have a crescent-shaped moon on its forehead? It does, and it's making its way to go try and attack Martin. Making its way downtown, slithering fast. <laughs> Gravel past its leg bound. Hiss. Um, do I have enough time to say, like, Martin, look out? Yes. Martin, snake! <laughs> and then Martin, roll me a dodge. Yeah, Petunia, you're in the way. Platoon, you know. 96. Would you like to push? Or spend luck? Well, you don't have enough luck. I would like to push. Alright. 19. You move out of the way as the snake appears. Or seemingly appears out of nowhere. Does it hit my son? <laughs> it doesn't hit my son. It doesn't hit your son yet. Uh, yet. Yet. <laughs> But it's right here. You you and your boy. Hold on. And your boy. Nope. Yeah. And Jack and William, you also see this large rattlesnake. That's probably roughly about five to six foot in size. Uh, with the crescent moon on its forehead. Looking. And we'll also jump to Jack as well, since he's right there too. So, um, yeah. I'll have a great time. You guys are in for some fun. I mean, <laughs> I'm mostly down this bottle, so yes, I'm having a great time. Let's go. Whose turn is it? Jack. You all of a sudden see Martin kind of jump out of the way and shoving his son. Weird, dusty hug. And you see the giant rattlesnake. What can I do? <laughs> do I have options? Yeah. What are my options? Because well, I, I don't think I can... I don't want to get near it, but... Uh, mm spend my entire life running away from things. <laughs> Make choices. Yeah, that's an option. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, a snake. And no one would encourage you. It's a rattlesnake. <laughs> William, give me your gun. I'll shoot it. <laughs> oh. I'll Sorry. run away. A big fuck off Didn't snake. Didn't my son be two snakes um, come up? Now that's if you believe in those superstitions. Well, I mean, I can give you my gun if you want. Nope, don't do that. That's on you. <laughs> Are we? Is this it's like how, how, how much you, can you say I can move here? Like uh, you can move wherever you want. So can I start like go around the snake and run this way? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can do and that. go like all the way over. There. You want to meet up with Luis and Laura? Sure. Um, no, I want to go around the snake and run and then yell about a snake being there. Rattler. If you go in that direction, yeah. you will He's threatening me. <laughs> He's standing there menacingly. <laughs> <laughs> He's slithering there! Menacingly! Did I, did I, I see him? I can snakes stand? <laughs> I mean, they're always guys, standing, technically. Kinda. <laughs> you guys can see the giant rattlesnake with the crescent moon. 
Jack, if you wish to run around it, you can run around it. Okay. And then get everyone's attention. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, they're a little... Snake! Busy. It's a snake! Ooh. I have a question. Okay. It's my turn. I guess that's what I'll do. Okay. Because I don't want... I can't do anything else with the snake here. Well, there's other stuff you can do, too, but if you want to call it end there... You can hop on it like a grenade. <laughs> I, I don't want to touch the snake. Don't get near the snake. Laura? I'll have more to do when the snake's gone. Okay. Laura? You see Jack running, yelling about a snake, but he's doing this in this very, ooh, snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. A snake. I'd catch him. Oh, dear. <laughs> Jack, calm down. What is it? What's going on? Uh, there's a snake over there, and it tried to attack our new friend. And it has, like, a symbol on it. A symbol? What kind of a symbol? It has the, 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 the crescent moon symbol. Okay. Wait, do they not know about that? Oh, shit. Uh, Louis saw it on the other snake, but... Oh, I don't okay. think Laura noticed. Yeah. Well? It's over there. He's gonna point towards where it was. If it even is there still. It's still there. <laughs> Is Bill there? Yeah. No, no, she's asking Jack. Oh, sorry. My bad. Yes. Okay. He's there? Well, I mean, if anybody knows how to handle Rattler, it's him or Cecil. He ain't around. Well, let's go see if we can grab the snake without killing it. What? Well, can I see around me here? Is it crowded in this area? It's uh um, no, nah, it's relatively empty. Most of the people have kind of like gone. Why? Why don't we get the snake girl, the girl who's good with snakes? Why don't we get her to deal with the snake? That's not a bad idea, actually, Jack. <laughs> what, Laura? And then <laughs> Jack just panically runs towards the snake girl. Yeah, okay, all right. I'll, I'll go get her. Well, alternatively, Jack would will see the is right on. The group runs. Does Jack actually know where she is, or is he just running? Yeah. He's just running. Well, That's why I asked if it was crowded, crowded, because I could see her over there then. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Jenny. Mm -hmm. Jenny's gonna turn, <laughs> as are the Rufios, Fox, and Archie. Move them over here. So where you kick my pumpkin Laura, cock me off the desk. Daz, you gotta move your little token. Do I have oh, to move my little? A... Why do I gotta move my little token? Nope, Daz. Hold on, let me make sure. Daz, yeah. Laura. Yeah. Ah, yeah, there, there we go. go. There we go. Okay. Yes, you can see. I am having internet issues. Sorry, everyone. All good. Okay. But, um... Officers! Jenny! Ringmaster! Archie! <laughs> You're, Hello. <laughs> with the um, exception of like Ginny, you're getting looks of cool glares. Ginny and Archie, you're getting a look of cool, cool glares, Louise. <laughs> Why are they glaring at Louise? <laughs> Ringmaster Fox is glaring at you because of the um sticking your nose in to it, and you know he's also discussed and talked with. The Rufios and kind of got a little bit more information about the LeBlanc family. <laughs> Benny's but made Ginny's an impression. Uh, but Ginny's not glaring, right? <laughs> nope, Ginny's not glaring. Archie's not glaring. Archie's more confused. Ginny's like, um, hi. What's up? Uh, I'm sorry to bother you, miss, but, um, there happens to be a rattler over there with the crescent moon thing on his forehead. She's confused and startled. Um, go me roll me a spot hidden real quick, and all three of you can do that if you'd like. Yes, good. 
32. Ooh, no. Okay. 87. Oh, okay. I got a 19. Okay. <laughs> Jack and Laura, you see... Jack is seeing things. No, I don't. I, I got an 87. No, Jack, Laura. No, not Jack and Louis. <laughs> I... <Normal> name. <laughs> Those who passed... You see Ringmaster's eyes widen and recognition. And he's going to step forward and be like, what do you wear? It's over there. <laughs> All right. And so he. No, can we please, can we borrow Miss Jenny, please? Because she knows about snakes. Jenny's going to be like, um. You know what? My friends are kind of in danger. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was about to be right like, well, yes, I'm going to go. And, but also, Ringmaster Fox can help, too. But whatever, they're both going and hurrying over there. Good gosh. <laughs> Good. Just laughing her at the cops as she walks away backwards. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, yeah. Er, um, Beth, really yeah. quick, can I can I put myself between Martin and the snake, and then I will wait my turn for the next of the response, but... Oh, yeah, you can go ahead and wanna, do it. We don't need I to worry about that. I want a five-foot shift to be like, hmm. <laughs> I'm the snake whisperer. I, <laughs> I know more. Okay. I'm gonna get bit today. All right. Um... Laura, is there anything else you would like to do? Um, no, I don't think so. Okay, I'm okay. not equipped to deal with snakes. I am aware of this. All right. William, you have just witnessed Bill step in front of Martin in between the snake. You see the ringmaster and Ginny coming, and you see your trio of friends coming as well. Obviously, I'm not going to go for the snake because I'm not done. <laughs> I just want to stay back away from it. <laughs> Okie doke. Um... Okie doke. And is is that going to be your turn? I need a stick. I need a stick. I'm not getting bit. No. <laughs> Alrighty. And I guess while that chaos is going on, we'll jump over to Esteban and Mark Antonio, since you two are at the same place. Ta-da! As you're approaching the freak show tent, you are seeing the bearded woman uh, seeming to be in a heated discussion with a older man, probably mid to late 40s, early 50s. Um, He's got a He's got a collared shirt on, dress pants and stuff. Um, he seems to have a very kind of almost zen vibe. Not quite zen vibe, but very calming way of how he carries himself and stuff. Though still having this argument. And you don't get to hear the last little bit before the man just kind of nods and walks off. You said he's in his older 40s? Yeah, o older 40s. There okay, thank you. Welcome. And so you are left with um you hear Julia kind of make a frustrated huff before she turns and sees you two sees Istan and Marc Antonio. So Istan, floor is yours. I approach the bearded woman and ask, is everything all right? Uh, or yeah yeah it's fine some he some fella asking him to get into places that only the connies can get into and ugh, he's fine shaking her head hmm. he really does sound like a piece of work mm -hmm. <laughs> she kind of gestures to the freak show and her freak show tent into herself You'd figure I'd be used to it by now. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything I can do to help you two? Uh, 
looks at Marc Antonio not, for answers. Not, not much. I don't think so. I think I think we're fine. Julia's going to put no. Julia's going to nod and um. Can you actually? This is going to sound weird. Actually, no. Go ahead and roll me a look. That is 13 for me. 13. Okay, so she does not see uh, where you put the pistol. Uh, and she's just going to kind of nod, and she's going to be like, uh, forgive me, you're the private investigator? Yes, yes I am. Okay, good. That'll be helpful. At least, at least with what happened to poor Robert over by the tracks. Yeah, that's deeply Have you, concerning. I know this is probably not appropriate to ask, but do you have any leads? Any evidence or anything? Well, uh, we have... Some leads, yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Everything will be fine. The when yes. the law enforcement comes, I think they will sort things out. Oh, that's good. As, as, as the things go by. Yeah. Do you want to roll an idea? Yes. All right. Idea. Uh, 60. 60. You can totally give um, Julia Ginny, or the pistol that you have and ask her if she knows whose this belongs to. Also, uh, can I have a question? We, we found this in the hands of uh, a suspected individual and I would like to ask you if you know uh oh uh oh no come on uh oh did I am I having an internet issue hold on one second do 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 okay um can you repeat what you said from, hey, we found this on one of the suspects? Yes, uh, and I would like you, I mean, I would like... Hold up. My thoughts are scrambled again. It's late. Uh, yes, okay. Uh, <laughs> so I would like to ask you that, do you know who this gun belongs to? Um, her eyes are gonna widen as she sees the weapon, and she's like, "Oh, this is this is Ginny's." I, um, I don't know how they would have gotten it, but um, but yeah, that's that's Ginny's uh gun. Uh, the ringmaster gave it to her a few years back, you know, because the way she dresses, some, you know, some. Oh, you say it's. Yeah, keep her safe. Ginny's. Yes. Mm. I don't thank you for that valuable uh valuable information. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um I guess I should probably go talk or do you want me to tell Ginny that you found it? Uh I I think we could handle it. Thank you. Alright. Okay, and Ginny's gonna nod. Um is there anything else you'd like to do? Hmm. Uh oh. Who did we lose? Oh no. Mark Antonio. <laughs> we lost <is> she. <laughs> uh, from the bearded woman, I don't think I have any more questions to her. Okay. Maybe I'll have some things to say to Mark Antonio after. All right. She she reaches. <laughs> okay. Then we will go to. Then we will go to Louise. 
and or we'll kind of we'll go back to the gang over here because we're now kind of at a fun everybody's involved kind of situation uh Luis, you see before you the chaos um is there any actions you'd like to take or Luis is gonna father F father <laughs> Luis is gonna follow follow rather closely because if they don't manage to grab the snake, her dumbass is going to try to grab the snake. Because right. she thinks with all her swamp survival, <laughs> she's going to be crocodile you know, up around them. She, I mean, she's oh, no. seen Cecil do it. She's done it a couple times with Cecil present. But, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if the ringmaster and Ginny don't manage to like grab the snake, she is going to attempt. Okay, so, um, all right. It, Mark and Tiffany's back. Oh, cool. Um, would you be chill if we hopped back over there real quick? No, go for it. Okay. Well, I question my life choices. Question your life choices. All right, Mark Antonio. Um, you've learned that the gun is Ginny's. Um, mm -hmm. Esteban has finished talking to, uh, the bearded woman and has now turned his attention to you. A question. Uh, did the bearded woman walk away or is she still? Um, she's actually going to go um, ahead and excuse herself and slip into the tent itself. So you don't got to okay. worry about her. So I turn to Marc Antonio and say, Mark Antonio, I think, I think Ginny, Ginny might be the one who orchestrated all of this. I mean, he, he must be the main thing. How else would this woman got his gun, her gun? I mean, she is the snake charmer, but is that it completely indicative of her running the snake people? I mean, not running, but he has something to do with it, possibly. I, I like would agree. More than just being the snake woman. Well, perhaps the, the snowman has stole Jenny's pistol from her, right? There is. We could go ask her, although I don't think you're on good standing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's a good idea <laughs> right now. <laughs> we could investigate for ourselves. We might be able to do that, but I don't know how where to go from here. I wonder if for a chest that you found those papers in is still visible. Like is the ch the chest still uh, open? Is the is it still there in the same place, or would we have? Would we have? Would we have to look for it? Um, I think we took it, Jack. You've, you've taken the papers. The papers are split up between you and Jack, but they're base. You basically have the same information. Um, the chest itself is still in the tent. The lid is probably now shut, but everything's still there. Hmm. I have an idea to make a plan. Oh no, Shishi, you're breaking up. Oh no. What? Uh oh. Okay. Uh, is it better at yeah. all? Yes. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm so sorry for my internet being so garbage today. Um, I have an idea as to where we could figure out more information about the Jenny. Okay, I'm listening. 
Well, do we know if she's still by her tent? Beth, can we, can we, uh, from our current position, can we? You can see that Jenny's not at her tent. Okay. Okay, so she's mm. not at her tent. Yes. I, if, what do you say, if what you say you believe is really true, it would be worth it to go investigate further? Hmm. And, I mean, it's not must... like, she, it's not like she has her gun on her, so. <laughs> I mean, it's true. But what if somebody came in and saw us being there? I don't think... You could have set up a guard. You could stand, like... Ah, stand, you could stand outside of the tent and pretend like you are waiting to uh, apologize to a Jenny. While I go in I... and try and see what's going on. Or we could find the others. There, that must be another idea. I, I feel as though I am not on. I, I'm in the same situation that you are in with the JNA, with the other people, and I don't feel like they would trust much coming out of my mouth, much less coming out of your mouth in conjunction with mine. Hmm. Okay. We're good. Uh, if we go to Ginny's tent, I'm not the one who stands guard because okay. I don't want to be seen at her tent again mm. because that must be not good. See. Uh, then... What if they see us in on the move, just out Ooh. and about? We'll have to uh, find a way to go about it to where we aren't being just out in the open. We could go around. That would be a long way, but I don't see other options other than going to the others. I feel that this is safer. We could just we could just make a run for it across the uh, across the main part. But there is the ringmasters and everybody there. Okay, give me one it's, second. It's not a good idea, but it's faster. Mm. All right. Um. Okay, let's let's go. Let's let's let's. I need you go both to roll me. Uh, listens. No, listens. Okay. No. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Twenty-two right. for me. Okay. I got a three, so that is a pass for me. Okay, um, Istvan, would you like to go ahead and spend the two points in order to get the pass? Yes. All right. I would like to. So let me go ahead and mark you down. 23. You guys hear yelling about this snake, this rattler. Um, sound, you know, trying to deal with giant rattler snake. Marc Antonio, you also hear the sound of scuffling. From the opposite direction. Kind of where the direction of where that man had walked off to. Mm. Mm. So uh, we hear the snake. I hear the snake. That's not the big record. This went robot. Kiki, I'm going to disconnect you and then you can. Oh, I'm, no. gonna, I'm gonna disconnect you and then reconnect you and then you could try and say it again. Oh, we love the internet problems. We love it. We love it so. Okay, go ahead and say what you were gonna say, Shishi. Hello. Shishi! 
Bueller. <coughs> I can't hear. I can't hear Shishi. Can anybody else hear Shishi? I I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I can't hear Shishi. All right, Shishi, I'm gonna kick you again and then see if you can come back. I'm sorry, dude. It's not a game of Call of Cthulhu without internet problems. Okay. Yes. My voice. Hello, okay. beautiful. Hello. <laughs> I joined on my telephone, so it may the audio quality may be a bit worse, but at least we can hear you now. Yeah. If the audio uh, quality is present at all, then it's better. Yes. Yes. All right. So. Ghetto, where were we? Okay, so you guys have both heard the rattlesnake scuffle going on in the front of you. Chichi, Marc Antonio has also heard the sounds of scuffling the opposite direction where the man seemed to have walked off to. Okay. Can Mark Antonio like look in the direction of um the rattlesnake cacophony and see how distracted everyone is? Everyone's kind of pretty focused and distracted on the cavalcade of crazy. Okay. Istvan, um, they're all distracted with the snake that's going on over there. Perhaps we could have just run across. We don't have to take it the other way. I mean, okay, but I think they're in trouble, but maybe they can handle it. Well, if it's, a, if it's just a snake, like everybody says, we've seen mutton kill snakes before and, you know. Okay. Bill said snake right. guy. Let's, let's run for it. Let's, let's go. All right. Okay. Stealth rolls. Nah, you guys have it. Go ahead and run over to the snake charming Ooh. tent, and we will we'll jump over to Louise, contemplating her life choices. Yeah, she is gonna uh, real, real. Hand it out okay. Here. All right. Um. Jack did want to do something. What? Tell me oh, what the thing is, and then we'll figure um, order. Well, I just want to not. I, I don't want Louise to jump at this snake if they miss the snake. Oh, I didn't even realize my camera wasn't on. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, I don't know if we realize that that's what she's yeah. planning. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I'm not saying it out loud. I'm literally just walking closer. Yes, Can so I unfortunately, Jack, I can't let you do anything like that. Okay. So you're just in... I have a question. Yes. A question. Would it be feasible um, for Jack to make a psychology check to try to deduce what Luis might be? I asked, and I <laughs> assumed I it was no. I did not hear the ask for the psychology roll, but I will oh. go ahead and let the psychology... Let's have the psychology roll. I got you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 61. 61. Louise has a plan. She has not told anybody else the plan, but she has a plan, which should be explanation enough. <laughs> yeah, not telling anybody else your plan has gone so well. I just want to. I, all I want to do is just walk up and just put a just put a hand on her shoulder to make her stop. There you go. Moving. That'll work. In the direction of the snake, or to like break her attention. That'll work. Yeah, that'll work. You're hey. her boyfriend, so she she's gonna like. Oh, hey, boyfriend. I mean, unless you don't want me to stop her, I mean that's fine. Okay. I you can stop. I'd her. like to leave to not be dead. She's just like, oh, if they, you know, if this is danger. If these two don't do it hey, and Bill doesn't can. do it, you I don't want them to be dead. But I, I don't want to stop you from ha having um, <laughs> to do what you want to do. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I'm, sorry. Way. I'm just saying what Louise would do. If Jack is gonna stop her, get out of my way, Louise. <laughs> I have stuff to do. 
Let me be a search. <laughs> well, we're about to see it in a second. So, um, Luis, Jack is <laughs> in your shoulder, and he's like, "Oh, my boyfriend's here." Yeah, he looks very well, cute. Oh. Oh, hi. Yeah, he is. He's real cute. <laughs> <laughs> Louise is totally attention's not on the sink anymore. Just like, oh hi, Jack. <laughs> oh, did she actually say that? I thought she was just giving him expressions. No, she's gonna look over and be like, oh, hey. <laughs> like that stupid like smile that people that like like somebody else is like, hey, you make me happy. Hey. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack's just gonna be like, what you doing? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I th- think you should leave the snake to the experts, Louise. I, I mean, just in case. I mean, I know how to grab a snake, Jack. <laughs> she feels a little bad. She got caught. <laughs> She's like, hmm? Don't want anything bad to happen, please. All right, all right, you're right. Thank you for watching out for me. I like this kid. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Luis is gonna hang back now with Jack. All right. So, what happens with the snake, though? All right, Bill, I need you to roll me a dodge. Oh, no, Bill. Uh, I'm also Lisa Day. Okay. Which does not pass, I don't think. Uh, Let me dodge, 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 dodge. Dodge is half dex. So... Excellent. I'm gonna push it. Push it or spend the luck. Nah, I'll push it. Why not? Okay. Live large and in charge. I've had a whole bottle of Moscato. Let's fucking go. <laughs> oh no, I forgot my dice. Okay. Two. Uh, shit. Oh, 48. 48. I don't think that passes. The half of the deck. Some- Hold on, give me a second. I have the thing up. I can do the thing. Jack. Equals a link. 37. Yeah, I did not pass. All right, do you want to... Am I getting dead? Um, one (laughs) sec. Do you want to spend the luck? How much luck is that? Uh, you roll... What did you roll? 48. 48. That's 10 luck. 10 luck. Mm-hmm. No. All right, go ahead and roll no. me a luck real quick. Dice. Dice, we're going to have words today. Um, I rolled a six. You rolled a six. All right, just as that's I did. Just as that snake comes to try and strike at you, bullet goes straight through its head, hits the ground, hits the ground right at your feet. And you look up and you see that Ringmaster Fox has shot it directly through the head. So, uh, what would I have to roll to, like, like, after the snake has been shot, to, like, push Bill to the side and throw Petunia at the snake. <laughs> you, know, you know what? I will let you have it. I will let you have it. You shove Bill out of the way, and you're just like, no! <laughs> the the snake has like... exploded, and it's just like, back, back, <laughs> threw it again. And does he have to roll a throw check? No, but I'm letting him have it. It's too beautiful. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. I want to collect the snake. <laughs> <laughs> and can I really fast the gunshot? I saw it happen. Can I touch Ginny's shoulder and 
check if she's okay. She's she's startled because, but it's more of a startled of, wow, I was really close to the sound of the gunshot, not, oh god, somebody snake got killed. Okay. Louise is just gonna, you know, knowing now the information she knows from, you know, Babe's yeah. mouth. It's like, like, hey. Uh, well, then. <laughs> yep. So, bring Master. On a vulture the snake. Vulture the snake. F1? What's the second one? For my bag. It's a weird snake, okay? I would like to investigate the snake and pick it up. All right. You pick- Carefully. Carefully. If it was still alive, it could bite me. So behind the head and at the end of the tail. Yep. <laughs> like a professional. <laughs> yep, you had not- da 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 new snake. I'm of- the master of dead snakes. Yep. Now, could everybody over here roll me listen checks, please? I got a five. All right. Twelve. Twelve. Martin? Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh... Fifty-six. Okay. Eighty-two. Um, Jack, would you like to push that roll, or? Uh, no, I'm good. Okay. So, Jack, oh, no. <laughs> your ears are still kind of ringing from the whole fact that you were less than 10 feet away from a gunshot. Um. Yeah, so... I would say Jack's pretty spooked. I think uh, he might uh, drop from Luis. Yeah, you're, you're recovering just... from the spook. Or cling to, no, cling to more, more, more actually. Might be <laughs> Coming from the big top area. Wait, what? Everybody who passed, here's a blood curdling oh, okay. scream from the big top area. Do I recognize a scream? It's Marianne's. Yeah, fuck all of y'all. I'm bolting. Like, Big still <laughs> hand bolting towards the scream. All right. Hey, Louise, pull out her shotgun and run with him. Like, she, she's gonna you, check you, on Jack, but she's. Yeah, you have her boyfriend clinging to you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Give <laughs> me one second, and I gotta, fix, I gotta fix this. Go for it. Dun 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 Beth, I'm going to let you decide how fast Bill runs. All right, give me a second. And I'm trying, I'm trying to, like. No, understandable. Take your time. There he goes. All right, and you all can decide as well how Ooh. fast you go. All right, let me get this undone. Like, he's fucking deadbolt sprinting because he's like, sister! <laughs> sister! You do get, like, a little whoo! <laughs> As um, Caesar Rufio kind of pulls you, like tries to keep you from, you know, running up to the hostage situation, because uh, it's a hostage situation. It is a hostage situation. Oh no! Oh no, indeed. Um, there's also, yeah, it's not good. See there, you can see, you can see Caesar Rufio. He's, you know, he's like, hey. I caught you before you ran into something over your head. Dante appears to be helping Davy, um, who's injured. And you can see in front of you. Let's get this a little bit. There we go. Eh, it works. See Mary Ann being held at gunpoint by a man in his late 40s, early 50s, with this strange sense of um he's he's got a vibe a, a vibe that does not match what the actions he's doing what the f- he's bill is very much frantic for the first time in his life fucking ever he's like 
What are you doing? That's my sister. The man. Kind of pulling against the arm for Officer Rufio. He's just kind of, kind of, not intending to be as rough as he is, but he's like, hey, you need to, you know, don't get too close. You don't want him to make any, he's, you know, girl's got any wrong moves is going to potentially get her killed. Yo, fuck this guy. <laughs> just like, hey, I don't know what your deal is, but like, I calm down. It's okay. Please don't hurt her. Please. I'm begging you. He is so worried, so stressed out. Mm-hmm. And Mary Ann's very terrified, and she's, you know, she's seen you, and she's also very terrified as well. Oh, no. uh, um the man holding her hostage um i gotta i gotta get into the vibe of him because like he is very much yeah. like for a guy holding a woman at gunpoint very calm cool collected vibe man Don't vibe man. man i do not wish any harm to her. However, I need to make sure that nothing rash is done to others. I think my sister at gunpoint. That's pretty rash. <laughs> and I'll just say every. Eddie, else you guys can come up as well to this situation as well. Um, we can walk out? Yeah, you guys can come up behind. You just can't get past uh, Caesar, Bill, or Ringmaster Fox. Jack, you gonna let her? She, she, she's gonna just like yeah. hey, Jack. <laughs> And Jack's gonna cling to her the whole way. That's fine. She's she's okay. gonna hold on, but she can't Thanks. take the shotgun gun out because of you. And that's fine. That's good. Doom mm-hmm. is happy about that. Thank you. Because Lord knows. Um Can I can I ask a question, Chef to Tomb Roll? Yeah. Do you think it's a good idea to bring Jack, who just got scared of one gunshot, towards a situation where there could potentially be another? No, but she, <laughs> but she but she doesn't know there's another. She just heard a scream. Okay. Yeah. I assume when she gets up to the if when they go to the thing, they would be able to see what's happening. Yeah. yeah. She might be like, no, no guns for my boy. No guns for my boy. But I am gonna try to help. <laughs> yeah. FMO. Bronze Martin, you guys can come up as well. Um Shishi and Isfan. Um, you guys do hear that scream as well, so whether you guys want to stay over at the tent or come over to see what the hubbub is about, I will leave that up to you. Oh, definitely gonna run, pick up Petunia, and make my way down. William's gonna run over. Alright. Set Petunia to rights here. Uh, um, me and Evan have decided that we are going to Continue in our direction towards Jenny's tent. Okie doke. Sounds good. We will get to you guys then. Then there then. Oh. All right. So. Question. Yes. Do we hear Bill talking to the person who has her sister hostage? As oh. sister. Yeah. Do we hear that exchange? You guys come up just as the man finishes talking so you do not hear Bill Bill, what Bill says. So you guys come up, you see Caesar Rufio, the older Rufio hold like, you know, making sure Bill doesn't run up to the guy with the gun. You see Ringmaster Fox, you see Dante attending to Davey um, 
it's a little intense. Can you see? Yes, Tomb. Can I have a clarification really fast? Yes. Because I am a, a little confused. Um, so the Rufios, it's kind of like a perimeter situation. Yes. Um, Davy is over there. He's technically the closest. But this guy is holding, like, grabbing Marion by by the neck, like, by torso, whatever, with yeah. the gun to her head. Yeah. Essentially? Essentially. Just I wanted to be... Just, yep. Yeah. Basically, unless... I mean, there's plenty of options on how to go about this, but if pushed too far, he will shoot. And she will not... She will not be... She won't be good. She won't be alive. That's valid. Uh, and we all see this, correct? Everybody sees it. Except for the two that and are in the other tent. That's, that's completely valid. So William sees this too. Yep. Okay. Jack, are you still clinging to me? Yep. Beautiful. Um, Laura? Are you here too? I'm here. Okay. I'm gonna go quiet because I, I don't want to take over people's turns, but um, I got a plan. <laughs> <laughs> Another plan. Oh my gosh. Can can I can you Louise can share with the people group? The plan. Yeah. Yeah, I want can I tell can yeah, I tell, the, tell the players the players and the characters? Or how do you want me to do this? Do you want me to tell the Because Louise is not Mark Antonio. She's going to share her plan. So do I share as my character <laughs> or as my person? As your character. <laughs> okay. This is, this is. She's going to look at the situation. And hold on. Before I open my mouth and I act a fool. Beth, this over here is open space. Correct. Over here? Right. No, right here. Oh, over here? Yes. That's open space. That's around the freak show tent. Yes, around the freak correct. show tent. Around he the freak is facing over here, correct? Kind of in that diagonal-ish kind of we way. We have the same plan, Louise. Huh? Sneak around, sneak around back and tackle him. I love you. <laughs> But, um, but Louise, this is Louise's plan. All right, five seconds, five seconds. <clears throat> Jack, Jack, Jack Shaw, I need you to let me go, all right? Just five seconds, I gotta move. All right, William? Louise, what are you planning? You're gonna help me, you're gonna help me, you're gonna help me. William, you are the sneakiest person I've ever known. I need you to go round back real quiet, as soft as you can. Laura, I want you to go round that way. Not Laura. I'm so sorry. Because, <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Context again. Um, over here, there's an officer, right? Yep. Dante. Okay. Laura, I want you to go by Dante. Jack, I want you to go a little closer. Well, I'm going to go a little closer right about here. And Jack, I want you here. I want his attention focused all the way over here. We're going to talk real nice, real slow. Just ask real nice questions. Just his name, how he's doing, you know, what the weather's we're like. Gonna, we're going to fill the rest of him. Hold on, hold on. Can I clarify? This is said loud enough that Bill can hear. Like, if you tried to get Bill's attention or... Well, she's right behind Bill, so... Oh, okay. Just you can... I just wanted to make sure so I can decide, like, did Bill hear this, or is he gonna just? He's so focused, he can't. Like, I'm just going to throw that roll to not. No, hear it. No, we can, okay, I, cool. I'm, I'm, it's low enough that he can't hear her, but loud enough that maybe you can hear her. But basically, basically, the three of us are gonna talk to him real nicely, facing a different direction. William, Sha, I want you to go around, and I want you not to tackle him. Grab that gun out and away. All right? Enough so Ginny can run. You think you can do that? What if he tries to shoot? That's why you're going to grab the gun first. 
No, he can still pull the trigger. Yeah, not if you move Are fast you enough. Sure? That's from Ringmaster Fox. Not if you move fast enough. Hold on. So, as Bill, I would like to make it known that I am choosing not to hear this. That's fine. I am choosing not to hear this specifically because if Bill hears this, he's going to be too loud. He's going to be too loud, like, the fuck are you doing? Like, that's my sister. So I am making the player decision that Bill does not hear the plan. <laughs> Sounds okay? good. Cool. Cool. But as, as your characters, are y'all okay with the plan? Is this fine? Yeah. Yep. All I'm going to say is actions have consequences. Let's see what happens. They do. <laughs> and Luis's intention is as she's talking real slowly, the other two stay stagnant. She's going to quietly approach. So his, his, oh, infer- his, yes. I like that part of the plan. Let's see what happens, everybody. <laughs> Hold on, though. Is everybody okay? I don't want, I don't want, like, everybody understands the plan. Laura and Jack are going to be yep. off towards the right. Nice, calm talking. William's going to go round. And Louise. I thought it was going gonna... left, but okay. Yes, I don't know what right or left are. Which so, Rufio? Me neither, it's okay. Rufio or right. Fox, which, which way are you going? <laughs> this way. I need. Y'all positioned this way. All right. <laughs> William, you tried to disarm him. I'll try. Let's go. All right. Okay. Tunya, why are you being like this? Loa, save Let us. Let me select you. Loa, here we come. Wait, I got a clarifying question. Yes. Yes. Marianne is still in her clown makeup. <laughs> yes. Well, it's, oh, yeah! it's smudged. It, it's she's been you know, she she was she did not go down willingly. So it's it's very smudged. Okay. And like bits of it are wiped okay. off. But it's still a semblance of clown makeup. Okay. I that would be a problem. <laughs> the makeup Oops, we didn't account for that. And so oh. I thought that was no. Oh, no. Well, a large... Oh. Look, I'm going to give it to you like this. Most of it has been smudged and wiped off. Because it's she, it was a tussle. It was a fight. But there are still remnants of the clown makeup. And she's still wearing the clown costume. Oh, no. I think you can do it, Louise. You can do it. I believe in you, Louise. <laughs> this, this is you what have... you're me about. I thought she had taken at least the makeup off. Okay. Never mind. The plan's still going on. I'm sorry for shouting, Laura. I did not mean that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry. All right. Clarify so I could fully, like, when I listen back to this later, like, sit back and picture, be like, ah, yes, this is how the clusterfuck went down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is how it started. She's, okay, so Marianne is still like the makeup is stitched. She's still in the outfit, but it's been really smudged because of the tussle with the dude. Yeah, but it's it's still recognizable. Oh, no. not necessarily. Okay. It looks like she we, got some like really white. She got too light of a foundation, uh, but it's smudged with dirt. And stuff. It's, it's yeah. It's fine. So it's not recognizable. Yeah, Louise can tell it's a clown. It's it's fine. I have a okay. tactic. It'll be. Louise is very distracted with the th- the idea of it was Bill's sister. I'm not looking at her. I saw the dude. I focused on the dude. I didn't look at her. So here's the plan. Or, yeah. Maybe, maybe right? she's just so proud. Of, <laughs> she's so I'm proud so of herself for exactly coming good. up with this plan. She, right now, it's like, oh, this is Bill's sister. I'm not going to look at her. I'm not going to look at her. I'm looking at the gun. Excuse me, sorry. I'm looking at the gun, and I'm looking at the man. Yeah. Hyper-focus. I got you. I got you, Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Love you. Okay. Um, with that being said, step forward. Here I've read up. enough fan fiction with Louise. I got it in her brain. <laughs> I got to talk about that fan fiction. <laughs> hey. 
anyways, so um, Fox <laughs> is going to let you step forward a little bit, Louise, because he overheard the plan. But it's very much uh, this guy. Like, had you not had the conversation with Denny earlier, you'd be surprised that this man's got like the trait, like the sight. Okay. M- yeah. mirroring senior officer Rufio in regards to handling the gun trained on. Bella's gonna grab her arm. What are you doing? It's it's fun. It's fun. You know me. It's, I do know you and I don't, ah, I don't trust you. That's my sister. What are you doing? Hi, Hi mister. Hi. Man's gonna raise an eyebrow. Uh, you know, just hands up. Um, I mean, I mean, I hate clowns just as much as the next person, but I don't really see what's going on here. She tell you a bad joke or something? <laughs> <laughs> the chancellor that you're getting from Mary Ann, <laughs> like she. Louise, keep in mind that you made that craft. Should she survive this? (laughs) The man is going to raise an eyebrow. He's, uh, you've made the crack and he's going to kind of shake his head and kind of in a similar manner that, um, when your uncle Peter is, you know, the look of, God, I'm tired of these, I'm tired of this, but I still have to be polite of just, all right, sure, we're on this crazy train. Uh, Is he going to say anything, or is he just, like, giving me that look? Just giving you that look. Um, listen, um, you got a name? My name? You may call me Reverend Cornfield. (laughs) Oh. Oh, man, man of God, sir? Yes. Yes, I am. I know a bit about gods and preachers. Speaking You're from- the Reverend Carson? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> well, uh, sir, I've only heard good things about you. I mean... True to singing the word of God, right, guys? Looks over at Jack and Laura. Lying is not a good thing to do. <laughs> now, sir, it's not lying if I agree with your perspective. Fox is going to look at you, Louise, and be like, What are you doing? What, like, what are you? Please, Cor- Pastor Cornfield, I have nothing but respect for snakes. Like, I'm studying to to know snakes, how they work, how they function, how they breed, how they migrate. Can you please let my sister go? She has nothing against snakes. She's never done anything to say. She can harm a fly. I always got called in to harm the fly. <laughs> Please <laughs> go. The Reverend. Please. The Reverend is going to um it's like I need to make sure that the children are not going to be taken. And he's gonna look directly at Fox, who is going frown and be like well they ain't gonna sit in a normal jail cell reverend trade me trade me for my sister 
Please. <laughs> She's Louise is gonna turn around. Shut the fuck up, Bill. You are making it worse. <laughs> Bill is going to shove Louise. No. Because this is his blood sister. His favorite sister. And he's already got some trauma about not taking the initiative when he should in a situation. He's got some song and dance trauma. Um, it's just like, do I have to roll the decks or anything? All right, um, go ahead and both give me a deck roll. Okay. I failed at a 79. We both failed. You both failed, so you two just kind of shove each other and you both kind of... And, uh, well, she, she, she's not she's not she's her back, and she's with the strength of two dads, Caesar and Fox both kind of yank you back. Uh, no? Caesar, Caesar with Bill... Fox with Louise and kind of a hey, get the fuck back before you two get shot. Okay, I'm gonna move the five feet. To Louise, can I roll the decks to have Louise kind of like shrug him off? Because she's still trying to buy William time, and that's why she was talking to like Laura and Jack to have them kind of talk to to try to distract him. She's um, trying to take his attention. We're going to actually go ahead and roll me the decks. Okay. I just had a five. Why did I fail the last one and I passed this one? Okay. Um, you <laughs> do shrug him off, but we're going to jump over to William, if that's okay, okay with everybody else. That's fine. All right. Let's go, my man. William, my dude, my dude, my dude. Mm. Roll me some stealth. Oh, shit. Go, sneaky man, go. 28. That's a pass. Yep. All right. You you have successfully snuck around. The reference back is to you. Um, what would you like to do as this kind of scuffle's going down? Go with the plan. Grab the gun. All right, roll me in. Okay. So, roll me a stealth to get up there. Get up, like, right Antonio, behind Antonio, no. Ooh. Oh, no. 81. Do you want to push the roll? Do you want yeah. to spend luck? Uh. Push. I'm gonna push it. Alright, push it. Push it real good. <laughs> what was it? I don't... 44. I don't think that's... Oh. Nope, that's not. Um. So you get up to him and you like you make a clattering noise and he and you, everybody in front of him, see him turn. William Roll me a dex, please. Oh, shit. Can I roll to grab Jenny? 15. 15? Hey. Um, 15. What would you want her to do? I uh, just... I want to do... Oh. Okay. So, Bronze, the Reverend does turn the gun and tries to shoot you, but he misses. Yeah. And go ahead and roll me that... Um, Strength check to pull Marianne. 25. Strength, they are. Uh, I feel like that's bad. <laughs> that's pass. You yank Marianne out of the Reverend's hands as the Reverend rolls up his, um, tries to, bleh has to fire at will again so go ahead and roll me another um dexterity or dodge dodge oh 
I'd like throw to throw Petunia oh. at him. <laughs> I, yes, throw Petunia! I'd like to throw She's crying as she grabs Ginny. Like, she's like, okay, I'm grabbing her, but she starts to cry the moment she grabs Ginny. Okay. Like, she starts <laughs> Jenny or Marianne? Mm. Marianne, sorry, I apologize. I you're good. I just want to clarify. I gotta go. Yeah. Martin, she's good. Roll me Martin. a throw, but at an extreme difficulty, please. Why? Who is that? Martin. Can I use? Can can I use luck points? What are you at? I rolled a 74. <laughs> um, the extreme success was a 12. So you can push the roll. I would like to push it, yeah. Push it. Sorry, Will, I might hit you. <laughs> 49. Wait, wait, I still need a 12. Yes. I have enough luck points to get down to 12. Go for it. If you want to do it. Wait, 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 wait. Can I ask something? I mean, he's throwing a horse. He may miss him, but doesn't that distract him? I mean, yes, but if this is a throw to hit the Reverend in the face. Well, I was going to ask if I could go and tackle him. <laughs> <laughs> Because, I mean, Luis <laughs> kind of started out there. Okay. If we all now. rush him, fighting brawl. can't get us all. <laughs> fighting <laughs> brawl, Jack. Let's do this. Petunia leads the charge. We're not Mitten. letting one of them get shot. He hits the tent, and then Jack comes from behind. Enter player two. <laughs> all right. Blame, just dodge. That's a 14. I missed that roll. Do I accidentally? You said, it? yeah. Can I, it doesn't matter because it's all Okay, hold on. I need to see what the fighting brawl is. Fighting varies. <sighs> this plan went great, guys. Okay, yes. Guess what, Jack? You tackle him to the ground. Uh, Bronze, what was the dodge? Uh, dodge was 15. 15. Hey. That, yes, that is a success. So you miss the other gunshot. Um, Jack has tackled the reverend to the ground and is now. What happens to his gun? <laughs> Roll me a luck, please. Oh, jeez. Come on, thing, do it. Petunia getting thrown. How is this horse on board? 53. Though? I think it's possessed. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> um, so, that is a fail, Jack. Give me one second. Hey, William, roll me another dex. Oh, no. Oh. Uh... Oh, no. I Alright. You have gotten shot in the arm. Go ahead and take... One second. It could be worse. Could be worse. Could be worse. <laughs> well, well he's had the first aid. Give me one second. Mark, you do silly plan and nobody gets hurt. Tom does a silly plan. Somebody gets hurt. And what happens? Everybody still keeps supporting Tom. I don't understand the bias here. Um, Ron? Played the plan. William? And had player character support. Oh, shit. Um, hey, Bronze? You get to take oh, no. one... Um, I will ask Flack if he should roll the damage because I just rolled the damage and you have an eight and a hit point loss. Oh, so I don't know whether if that's how that's supposed to go or if it's supposed to be bronze roll his damage. Well, 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 I certainly miss a lot while I'm out. <laughs> just a little. Wait, 
Wait, but can I help by doing... Not yet, yeah, he's gotta take the initial part. damage first. Oh, shit. Right. Let's take a look at... Let's take a look at you, William. Let's see what's happened to you. Because how much did you roll, Beth? I I'm basically basing this off of the uh the the brownie nineteen eleven that William has, which is a one D eight or D ten plus two, and I rolled a six. Uh, that, that is an eight. That is an eight. <laughs> oh William, William, William. How much health do you have? Oh you're nine. 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 Oh, you're fine. You've got one point left. <laughs> Alright. Good. I just wanted to double check. Um, so William, you have been shot in the technically the arm, but it's in that nice little arm clavicle area. Um you take eight damage. Which arm, left or right? Uh, we'll go right. Oh, shit. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Um, uh, I want to knock this guy out or something. <laughs> Can Louise He's... run to first aid, hand Marianne off? Um, D -d nobody. Hold on, hold on. Jack hold is on. still tussling with this guy. Time out. Sorry. Jack, go ahead and roll me a fighting brawl to see if you or and do it at a hard difficulty, so half. So ten. Okay. Yeah. Uh, where's my? Oh wait. Oh, my dice thing crashed. Hold on. My computer's not enjoying having everything running. Oh no. Mood. Come on. There we go. Uh, that's 47. <laughs> I don't think that beats a 10. <laughs> uh, no, hold on. Let me double check. Okay. Oh no, Brawl's 25. So 47. Doesn't beat a five or a ten. It doesn't. It doesn't beat a twelve. Would you like to push the roll? One of those two. A twelve. Or do you? Okay. So you're re rolling. Um, okay. Are you yeah. feeling lucky? Nope. Oh, it was so close. It was so close to ten. It landed on seventy. You know, <laughs> you do have quite a bit of luck. No, actually, I don't. No. You the know, only one with do. a lot of luck is Louise. Um, so you get pushed off. Yeah, look, look, unless it's zero, you still have a lot of luck. <laughs> Unfortunately, the luck cannot save him <laughs> here. Yeah. As the Reverend goes off Jack, but then gets him into a headlock. And congratulations, Jack, you are now the new hostage. And with that, we're going to jump <laughs> over to Istvan and Marc Antonio. Hanging out over at the tent! Hell yeah. We are as far away yeah. as we can be. Um, we're having a good time over here. Then. <laughs> All right, so... We decide to go in. Yep. Yeah, you, you see a oh, bunch of snakes. <laughs> you see it. Punk. You see... <laughs> Um, can I, I get, uh -oh. uh oh, she, she, you're roboting. Oh no. Uh, it's always on my turn too. Oh, it's fixed this stuff. <laughs> Yay. Okay. Can you hear me? Am I good? Yes, you're good. Yes. Can I go investigate the trunk? Alright. Uh, go ahead and roll me a spot hidden. Uh, okay. I have to get over to my dice for that. I don't know if that's going to interrupt the signal or not. <laughs> oh, nuts. Hold on. Okay. 
Okay, that's a five. All right. Um, you don't see anything of relative importance. You see some clothing. You see some costumes. You see like a couple of books. Um. So is it? It wasn't locked. No, it wasn't locked. Okay. Can I see anything in particular in the tents other than snakes, like some document, no. papers or something? No. Hmm. Can I make a spot hidden to notice anything <laughs> about the tent itself? It sure. Hmm. I feel like this was a uh, waste of time. You know what? We're g gathering valuable evidence. <laughs> uh. Nine. It's a tent. Wow. Wonderful. <laughs> wow, this is... Okay, I... I say to Mark Antonio... Oh, you already well, went through and got was, all the uh, stuff! This man and Jack already cleared up this stuff of importance in there. This was a waste of time coming No, no, here. no. I'm going to go talk to you apologies. <laughs> I mean, you guys do hear the screaming and gunshot sounds. True. Okay, now we we need to go visit there. We yeah, after this, I, I don't really know if we can find anything here in this area of the circus. I say we go to. Um, I say we go in the direction. Yeah, let's decide to go there. So. All right. Yes. You guys arrived to what? see an absolute clusterfuck going down. Marianne has been kind of is pulled yeah. over to yeah. her brother. Um, Martin's kind of holding back Louise. He's as, holding tight. As Jack is in a headlock with a man you two don't recognize. Um, how... How accurate are throw checks? Like, if I want to throw something, if mm -hmm. I pass, do I hit the target that I wish to hit? Yes. Yes. Okay. Do you have anything to do? He's got a few things. <laughs> how, how specific can I get on, like, targeting? Can I just, like, throw it at the guy, or can I specifically throw it at his head? Um... If you want to be specific, specific, we can do that. Or you could just say, I'm going to aim for the head, and depending on how successful you are is where exactly it'll hit. Okie dokie. Um... Oh, yeah, Shishi can't move himself on the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> can somebody help me out with that? Oh, that's weird. There we go. Da-da-da! Da-da-da! Um, he, so we, we just popped out of the tent and turned, and at that big top scenario, we see everything. Are we close to it, or are we still back at the tent? I you, think we need to walk there. You guys have rushed over, you're, you're seeing the clusterfuck itself. You are, uh, good. Nope, that's not how that works. You're about 30 feet away from the Reverend himself. Okay. Um, I don't know. Ishtar. Yes? Give me the gun. The, gu the gun, but we need that for evidence. Who cares about the evidence? Somebody's about to die. I mean, I mean, here, here is my notes. I think you can throw that. <laughs> Also, it's bound together, it's perfect. Beth, before I yell at Ishvan for giving me something too light to throw, is it too light to throw? <laughs> yes, it is too light to throw. It is a, it's crumpled up pieces of paper. This isn't going to work, it's a notepad. I can just throw a piece of paper. 
<laughs> what else? What else do I have? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Give me the gun. It's going to be so much easier. All right, here you go. Um, throw the yeah. gun. I don't have anything heavy to throw. I see you miming at me, Flower. I don't have anything to throw. Um, you have you, you two, so of it. two prizes that you have given to Esteban. You have a pen. Oh, you have a knife. You have the watch. Totally forgot about you have those. Yeah. Louise has his knife. That's true. Never Sorry. Sorry. That's right. Um, but you but gave he... two, two carnival boxes to Esteban. You can look for a rock. But um, you have Esteban, the gun. Marc Antonio, are you okay. going to throw the gun? Yes, uh, I would like. To God damn. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Question. Question. <laughs> Question, 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 question. Un, un, unrelated. Is the gun loaded? No. Or is it empty? No, no okay, it's empty. Yeah, it's oh, probably empty. Oh, thank God. Oh, my Probably. Probably. Yes. probably empty. Oh, we can roll a lot later. Probably. <laughs> we can roll a lot later. Want... It'll be fine. Oh. Huh? You want me can to I roll just... a lot? Can I just quickly change roll my mind and grab no. the gun out of... Mark we'll Antonio throw- Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. So I mean yeah. Istvan, if you want to try and take the gun out of Mark Antonio's hands, that's gonna be a fighting brawl. Um Oof. I started it. I don't wanna hit you, Istvan. It's not that's something I wanna do. I would like to present the idea. I would like to mention it's that Mark Antonio has two, not one, but two perfectly good pairs of shoes. <laughs> but where's the fun in <laughs> throwing a gun, Black? Here we get more spooks if we get the gun. I know, I know, but <sighs> Okay. Before but you I, want to go ahead and roll a fighting brawl to try and get the gun out of Mark Antonio's hands. Yes, I'll try. Alrighty. I'm not. Hey, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's a twenty-one on my part versus my sixty-five, so that's like a hard success for me. It's twelve for me. Mm. Istvan does Again, manage to get my... it. Istvan manages to worm it out of your grip. What are you doing? Again. Listen. You don't throw guns at somebody. I I don't know why I gave it to you anyways. Give Here. me something else. Uh, is any of the prices that he gave me any less, you know, compact to throw? The cubie like doll? The doll or... The doll. The cubie doll. Yeah, it's... It's, 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 it's yeah. probably about the weight of a... um. Uh, probably about a weight of a light baseball. I don't know if that's correct or historically accurate, but for the sake of this, I'm going to say it's a light. Baseball. Dolls are like three, three pounds. Yeah. So three pounds. Mm. Fine. Okay, I just, I just grab it out of my jacket and hand it over and say that throw this instead, goddamn! Yeah, if you I, want to throw something so badly, I would like to take the doll. And just like cock it real back behind my shoulder, and then try and bing him in the forehead. All right, go ahead like, and roll like, a throw. Nine. A nine. I win. My throw's a fifty. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm about to describe the shenanigans for everybody as you're watching. All of a sudden. Head over heels, head over heels is this little doll knocks uh, the reverend right in the face and he staggers back. He lets go of Jack. Louise. Fuck you, reverend corn nut. Get the fuck away from him. <laughs> Someone else can deal with that. Screw that. Louise, you're shoved by a uh, fox who shoots at reverend. 
And the Reverend drops dead. Aha! Dead from the door. Wait, hold on. Wait, what? <laughs> what? Fox. Fox has his you gun. You killed him? Oh, Fox shoots. Oh, okay. No, the QB doll didn't shoot him. The QB doll distracted him long enough that it was... While well, everybody was getting the get the oh, fuck okay. out of Dodge, Fox is like, I'm gonna handle this problem. Hatow! Fox has a, lot, has a bit of a body count, as you can tell. Fox <laughs> is a stone cold killer. For Fox. Um, would that gunshot do anything to Mark Antonio? Um oh, I don't I don't believe so, no. That's good. Um we will get to that in a second. Um, yeah. That's fun. So, the Reverend has crumpled to the ground. Um, if Would anybody like to turn around and ask the Reverend what the fuck was that? Or not the Reverend. Um, Fox, what the fuck? Um, no, Lu Louise is gonna you know, see if Jack's okay. Like, Jack, you okay? You okay? And she wants to run and treat William. Okie doke. Jack? Jack Shaw, you okay? She's gonna hug him. She's gonna check on him. Jack, I think uh, Mr. A is crying. God, like, I can't... <laughs> I don't even know what just happened. I'm so confused. I almost died. I don't know. Just gonna hug and pet him. Be like, sweetie, sweetie, it's all right. You're okay. Nothing would have happened to you. I promise. It, it'll it be okay, but I, I gotta check on William. I think he was shot. You gonna be okay for a second? Oh, it'll be fine. Okay. Gives him a kiss. Big old smooth. Checks, you know, cleans him oh. up. Checks on him. Just... You, her hands are shaking. You can tell that she's not doing okay. Um, she's gonna run to William, and can I do first aid? All right. Yes. Okay. Um, go ahead and roll me first aid. Uh, after Louise is done with her stuff, I would like to go next. If okay. Possible. Put me in cue, coach. I know where my first aid is. I don't fucking remember. Oh, yeah, 24. It passes. Okay. Give me one check to double check the skill with the first aid. Just so I'm not like, hey, haha. -ha. If I remember correctly, William gets one point okay. back into health. Cool. And he is stopped Maybe from bleeding. Has first aid. Sounds good. Works for me. Um, <laughs> Do it to him. No. All right. Um, go ahead and add a point back, bronze, to your HP. So you are not two hit points. Yay! <laughs> um, and you can get up and. You're not bleeding. She's managed to kind of, like, get the injury. You are probably going to have to go to the hospital for it. But, you know, you're not dead. So, yay! My poor, my poor bandana. <laughs> poor bandana. She probably used her skirt and I don't know what else to try to patch you up. Oh, wait, she has a first aid kit in her purse. Never mind. Well, you're you're pa you're patched up enough. Yay! All right. Um, is there anything you two want to do? She's gonna tell him that he did a great job and that she's so sorry she put him in this predicament. And I knew I could always count on you. Are you all right? William's gonna be swearing an incredible amount, gripping his arm, and just basically staring at the Reverend like I'm gonna shoot you again just to make sure. Don't don't do that. They're cops. They're cops. We can we can go drag his body later. <laughs> okay. Well, that's another scar. 
All it's right. fun. God is a part of your charm. Not the dying part. <laughs> no, no. Let's let's avoid that. <laughs> All right. Then we will head over to Bill. Oh my God. Oh, excited. So much. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bill is like, hands on Mary's face. Are you okay? Did he hurt you? Like, are you. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. The biggest hug that he has ever given his sister in his whole life because, holy shit, this boy has trauma now. Yeah. He's you hugging you, Don't ever scare me like that again. I've just found you again. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was sorry. It's just like. This is weird because usually he's not the one comforting his sister. Um, but he's just like holding her, like rubbing her back. I do eventually want to get a picture of the Reverend with my one photo left. But, you know, his sister comes first. So comes first. he's yeah. squeezing her really tight. I'm like, I'm so glad you're okay. I was so worried about you. Ah. <laughs> yeah. You are going to get um hand on the shoulder from Caesar and he's it's kind of more of a hey are you two all right kind of thing Whew. Whew. <laughs> It's like yeah yeah um man one second just you right here i need to do something really quick it's going to be right here and then as soon as he has the confirmation that she will stay right there nothing will happen He's gonna go take a picture of the reference. All right, go ahead and head on over. And um, Jack, Bill, William, Louise. I'm watch it. I need you all to roll a sanity check real quick. Sanity checks. <laughs> Even Louise. Even the body. Oh. Body dead. Body Louise dead. Does, body. Louise does get advantage. So she. Roll twice, take the lower number. I rolled 11. All right. Fuck this guy. I got a 91. 27. I rolled a 73. <laughs> so Will and Jack, uh, let me double check real quick what the good old-fashioned thing says when you see a dead body. I need to get some sanity back. <laughs> Wait, I've already seen dead bodies, though. So have I. Well, you didn't get to see it m murdered. So go, and you failed your this sanity is check. Right there. So roll 1d3, please. Uh -uh. Wait, so if William's seen, seen bodies before, do I do a second roll as well for an advantage? I mean, I, we saw the snake bodies before. Snake bodies, this is different. You guys witnessed the murder happen. Louise has okay. seen it due to her backstory. It. Due to her backstory, yeah, she has you, seen... She has the criminal background -y stuff that gives her immunity to seeing stuff like that. She gets advantage due to elements of the backstory. I got a one. Okay. Nice. So, you stuck to the one. William, what did you roll for your sanity cost? Uh oh. One D three. Ah, I'm just gonna use the ball. Mm -hmm. I can't find the ball. Help. It's above two uh, standing room. Yeah. A a D three just. Yeah, one D three. Is that what you need? Just or roll a D four and subtract oh. one from it if you're. Or only take results one to three. F three. So go ahead and deduct three sanity points, please. Yep. All right. You're alive! You were worried you were going to die, and you're alive! Yeah. Miracles here! Yep. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> hey, you know, it could have been a lot oh, worse. I suppose I should be right here. I'm gonna take a picture of this fucking body. Take a picture of it. Oh, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Camera. Click. Click. Indeed. <laughs> and with that, that is, my entire oh, roll of film is depleted. I have that is the weirdest minutes. thing, I think, <laughs> out of everything. <laughs> that I Your entire roll of film is snoomans and corpses. Congratulations. I'm a great investigator, I swear. I was going <laughs> to hand it over to the police eventually. Don't worry about it. The fuck? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, this, Bill has a true crime podcast? <laughs> well, uh... <laughs> I mean, maybe there's there's a chance. Fox is coming over to you, and he is going... Me? Yeah? He wants to talk to you for a second. Uh-huh. I don't, Beth, you're lagging a little tiny bit for me, so... <sighs> internet why you gotta be so rude okay so fox comes over to bill yes oh hi how you doing kid Can I help you he's like holding his camera and he's just like holding it very possessively like no 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 you're not gonna take this no <laughs> fox is noticing this um, and he's like i'm fine <laughs> I mean, my sister's okay, so that's the most important thing, and I mean, looks over at William. He seems like he's okay. Why? I will need those negatives. Or at least a copy of all of those photos. I can make you a copy. Why? Why do you need them? Because I gotta go get it back to the university. The university of what? Fox is gonna sigh. Still, still holding the camera, like, no. You've heard him <laughs> smile. And he's going to go into his pocket and he's going to hand you a business card for the Miskatonic University. He's going to take the Miskatonic no, University no, business card. What is this? My card, kid. That way we can keep in contact. I can see it's a card, but what is the Miskatonic University? I've never heard of it before. Does Jenny know about it? Does your daughter know about this? Does Marianne? Does anybody here at the circus know you're in this? What is it? When situations happen that are kind of gestures to the Reverend and stuff. Otherworldly. Otherworldly. Suspicious. Yeah. Magical. Meh. There's not a, a result of science. Not a result of science. We will... <laughs> we... Miskatonic University gets called in to take care of it. So what, you're like a secret society or something? You could say that. How... He's got so many questions and he's not sure which ones to ask. Um, But he does take the business card and he makes sure it's nice and safe. Um, It's like, so where can I deliver the copies of the photos to? Well, you can call me... (laughs) We'll be here. We will probably be here for the rest little longer than intended. We do have to make up for today's loss. And he's just very very irritated. He's like, yeah, we got to make up for today's loss and probably the loss for the rest of the investigation. So I'll be Um, around and you have the card now and you'll be able to contact me with that. Does the rest of the circus performers know that you're part of this secret society? Some Does do. Marianne know? Some don't. And that's all he's going to say on it. Does Marianne know? She's a smart kid. And he's going to wa- move past Martin. Head over to Jack. <laughs> that's not an answer. <laughs> head come over to Jack. Check and make sure he's okay. Are you all right? Um, Are you I'm, all right? 
doing as good as I possibly could be after being held hostage. All right, well, now it's over with, so you'll be all right. Now. Thank, thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, I do have to ask, and probably not the greatest time to ask it, but Jimmy told me that she had let you in to the snake tent when you were mm. having a problem. And mm -hmm. after you left, she couldn't find her, some papers of hers and her pistol. But you happen to know what happened with that. Would I happen to know what happened? I'm... Can can we talk about this later, please? He's gonna nod and be like, it's true. So he's gonna kind of head back to the Rufio's and yeah. That's... Where's... Where's um... Esteban's right here. Oh, oh yeah, I, I forgot we have a map. Who, who's that over there? Yes, the van. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. Okay, <laughs> real fast. Just boop. Um. Hey, Esteban. How's it going? Hi. I. How are you? Are you alright? Any? I'm fine. I'm I've good. I've now got. A lot of things on my plate now. Um, do you want? <laughs> okay. <laughs> do you have those things from before? Those things. Yes, I have those, and I would like you to have all of them. Including the gun. There you go. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> trying to be discreet, and he just hands me all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jack, roll me a luck real quick. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> oh my god, 67. You drop the paper and the gun. <laughs> and... Rever in the fo box. And Caesar Rufio just look at you two. Look at the things you dropped. <laughs> look at you two again. And their expressions are pure. I'm not fucking paid enough for this. I need a drink. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I'm just gonna point at Esther and be like, "Um, this was his fault. He, I bumped into him. He dropped all this stuff. I, mean, I don't know what happened." <laughs> Sorry, this is just. Uh, and tries to scuffle it over <laughs> and. and... Pick it up again. Yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna add to fucking as Esteban's picking up, I'm gonna add the stuff that Jack picked up to that pile that Esteban just picked up. Oh you <laughs> Cause I was trying to be discreet nice. about it and you were like, Our no, nasty take this. Boys. <laughs> I will be right back. One moment though. Okay. Nasty boy! <laughs> Throwing each other into the butt. <laughs> Love I it. I was going to discuss a plan on how we could get rid of this, but Esteban wanted to be like, here, take all this stuff. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is great. <laughs> Flack, also, look, we're polo buddies today. Hell yeah. Ooh, nice. What do you got, clouds? It's flowers. Uh, it's, it's a simple, simple. It's as simple as simple tiki shirts can get. It's just flower-shaped objects. I love it. I have mushrooms. <laughs> I was like, oh, flack might be nice. here later. Gotta show off my one cool button. <laughs> I love the mushrooms, yes. Thank you. I love the I wish I had like 10 of them in like seven colors, to be honest. <laughs> I wish I could find my cool button-up flamingo shirt, but unfortunately it's too oh, hot, so yeah. I'm rocking a tunic. I'm just excited that Bill's got 24 photos of just weird snooman activity and bodies. <laughs> what am yeah. I gonna do with them? 
I have no idea, but it's gonna be exciting. You know, man, hang, hang it on the whole frame. He's gonna you know. have such a story for his roommates and his boss at the travel agency. It's gonna be great. Oh, we should have had we should have had Bill That's take great. pictures of our documents we got. <laughs> the Jenny document? Yeah. I mean, you could have. But you didn't ask. We didn't. I know. That's why I said. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> but yes, Bill has lots of murder, How crime is- scene photos, Snooman photos, and then one, one of Joshua and one of the Reverend. I've written them all Woo! down. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this camera. I'm so excited to get done for it. Okie doke. So, as the situation comes over or this situation goes down where you guys are trying to scramble dumping the evidence into each other's hands um both of you roll me a luck Uh, (laughs) it's 44 for me oh all right it's gonna be it's gonna be caesar Sees Rufio comes over. He's like, and he immediately turns to you, Esteban. And he's like, <laughs> Esteban, right? Yes, that is affirmative. All right. Yes. Uh, he's a Rufio. Care to explain what's going on? Yeah, as he's talking, Jax is gonna slowly back away from him. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> I tried to yes, grab I him. I was color. trying to be nice. So, Jack, <laughs> you, Jack, you need to roll a a stealth. See if I know this. Oh boy, another stealth. <laughs> Seventy six. Do you want to push it or? Where is my stealth? I don't actually see it. Uh, That's a 26. Oh, there it is. Um, (laughs) Yeah, I'll do it. All right. Push the roll. We roll. There's a 43 now. Do you want to spend some luck? You know what? Yeah, I would like to do that. (laughs) Okay. To get to 26. How much? Wait, whoa. Yeah, I don't have that much luck. Hmm. All right. So, in attempting to... Oh, okay. Let me me add... Okay. You're good. Okay. So, you try to sneak away, but you trip over your own two feet and fall to the ground. (laughs) Wait, even with the success? No. No one's success. Okay, hold on. You said you didn't Oof. have enough luck. Oh, okay. Well, I was, I was, I'm trying to do addition really fast in my mind, so I just okay. deducted it because I said, I'm screw it. I'm just going to do okay, it. Okay, yeah, you managed to back away slowly as Caesar's attention is on Istvan. Um, Istvan. Say whatever you'd like to um, the police officer. <laughs> It probably would help if I took the thing off. Okay, so uh, um, we were trying to compile evidence with the uh, fellow next to me. Where did he go? I, I don't know where he got. He was standing by me just a second ago. That he was. Huh. Caesar Rufio is going to make gonna do the see, he will remember this. Just kind of nod. Like, all right, well, I will take that evidence off your hand. I hands it over and uh All right. I, and I might make a remark that uh uh for the pistol. Uh this pistol that we found, this was from this the, the 
Does the does the officer knows about the snowman? Actually, yeah. I don't remember. Yes, he knows about the snowman. Okay, yes. Okay, so we found this in the hands of the uh, snake person that shot this gun in the tent. All right. Gotcha. Thank you very much. And he's gonna take the stuff. He's gonna go ahead and back. He's he is gonna give the stuff back to Ringmaster Fox since it is technically his, technically his and Ginny's. Um, but he does make a note and telling him about that. And um, Martin, no, wait, hold on. Yes, Laura. while. Uh, wait, oh, wait, go ahead, go ahead. One, go last, ahead. Thing, one last thing, I'm so sorry. Uh, while the officer walks away, I try to find Jack somewhere. Right. Go ahead and spot hidden. Yeah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Uh, 49. 49. Which is a... That is a success. So oh, you yeah. see, oh. uh, as you look at the, um, the freak show tent, you do see the curtain or the, the tent fabric sway in such a way like somebody knocked into it as they were rounding a corner. Mm -hmm. And so it's pretty safe to bet that he's probably gone that way. Okay, I walk in that direction and, and yes. Cool. So, Laura. Yes. Is Hello. there anything um, you would like to do? I would. I've still got the younger officer Rufio beside me, yes? Yes, he has just finished up um you know, now that the Reverend is dead, he's he's finished patching up Davy, who's looking very annoyed, but at least and shaken, but he's okay. Um but yes, younger Rufio is all yours. Yes. I would like to ask him about what happened here. Because we came in partway through to absolute chaos. Yeah, absolute chaos. Um, Dante is going to be quiet for a moment before he's going to nod and be like, well, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, he just, that's my boy <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's kind of like kind of vaguely gesture over to where the reverend's body is it's like he was trying her argument with the clown kind of gestures over to where Marianne is he gestures over to Davy tried to get involved got injured for his troubles, and then scream. Da, 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 da. He's very much of a damn. This was not how I was expecting this call to go. And so he's just right. Yeah. But are you all right? I'm okay. I know this isn't really your usual expertise, Mrs. Miss Barclay. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> but... <laughs> wait, 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 can I ask an out of character question? Yes. He knows. Laura, did you introduce yourself to him ever? She's a librarian. No, but I'm a known person. Okay, I'm just. Just wondering, okay, I'm done, I'll be quiet. Okay, back to Dante and Laura. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Dante goes to the library. Not always, but there's a cute cat there. <laughs> That's a It's true. Sure. Mr. Poster is a pretty cool cat. Yeah. <laughs> so... There's gonna be that awkward chuckle of like, yeah, this is not how I expected my day to go. Woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, me neither. All right. 
Um, if that, is there anything else you want to ask him or do? Um, I don't think he knows anything useful at the moment. <laughs> I'm not getting that vibe from him. That would be a correct vibe. <laughs> Search the pockets, Laura. <laughs> so yeah, I think that's it from him. Okay. Um, Martin. How you feeling, old man? Well, definitely better need to avenge her stomp, but it's time to go pick up Petunia and apologize for throwing her. Okay. Petunia. Kind of look at Vernon and Corner Cobb and be like, mm, well, serves him right. Wait, is that a snooman? Is, is he a snooman? No, he's just a normal human. Just a normal dude. Do we like, do I recognize him from anywhere? Like, nope. I wonder why I tried to kidnap your sister. Bill. Bill. Sorry, what? I wonder why I tried to kidnap your sister. I. I mean, he's so, not a snooman, so he ain't got no beef because of the snakes. At this point, uh, Martin will see that Bill is kind of like squatting with a sketchbook open on his lap, and he has been like furiously trying to like scribble the image of this person that's dead on the ground because he doesn't have any more film, so he's trying to notate it, I guess, for lack of better terms. Taking yeah. notes. Good job. Good job. Yeah, he's taking. He's taking notes. He's trying to absorb the scene so he can go through it later. Um, he like is startled though. And he looks up. He's like, "What?" <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't, just don't know why he'd pick your sister. Like, what's the point? I I don't know. She's really nice. She's never hurt a snake, as far as I know. She's doesn't really like hurting animals at all so she can always kind of pawn that job off on butchering day was kind of on me or one of my brothers or you know she just didn't like doing that can you know, I, I check his pockets yeah roll me um spot hidden Pretty. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Um. Um. Some scrap paper, kind of some note, a uh, big shorthand notes, kind of like, hey, this location here. This hope, you know, it it would appear that these notes. Our shorthand of kind of like, hey, this is where this place is going to be. Almost as kin to a, um. Like directions on where to go, who to kidnap, when to be there. Yeah, it kind of feels like they, it, it would appear that the Reverend has been watching the circus for a little bit. Yes, Flower. Do I need to make a spot hidden to see him do the thing, or can I just ask him? Oh, I'm not hiding it. Yeah, go. Oh, okay, cool. Then well, what did you find, Martin? It looks like he had some instructions to be here. Are the notes, like, signed? By him? Are, are they on a fancy stationery? No, it just appears to be kind of like the Reverend... You know, it, he doesn't have a phone, so he doesn't have a reminder on, <laughs> reminder app. So it's just kind of like a, hey, we thought, mm. you know, uh, this is the schedule for the note, circus. It's note, yeah, it's a note to self kind of thing. Yeah. Note to self kind of you thing. know, it's like, it looks like he wrote down instructions, including when to be here today, who to get your sister, 
No, like, not what? the sister, not the sister stuff. This kind of like, hey, oh, this. I mean, yeah, he had instructions to have some shenanigans go down. That's, That's... weird. I mean, I'm not shocked, I guess, with what Archie and jo- Joshua, Joshua, Beth, Joshua. Yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised based on what Joshua and Archie said about what happened to their village, but still, like. It's just think, so weird, because I mean, this, like, it doesn't seem like he's associated with the Sneeples. Well. I mean, we learned from Joshua that all of the weird snake yig nonsense started when he went off on some religious experience and came back and then started working, for lack of better terms, miracles. Also, out of character, Flower would like to comment that, wow, we're doing better than the cops. Love you, Rufios. <laughs> We're doing your job. <laughs> that's how it always goes, though. <laughs> um, back well, into if it, you though, want, I can, I can pull the cops. I can have the cops do their job. <laughs> but the it was out of character. It was out of character. <laughs> it was both a little bit. Just wink, wink, nudge. <laughs> nudge. <laughs> Give me a minute. I will get it. I will get it. I will out get it. Out of character. <laughs> Bella is very much just like I I mean it I don't know why he was here, but it seems like this is this is a scheme he's done before. He rolls in, he causes trouble, and if Joshua and Archibald's story are anything to go off of Archie's. Yeah, Archie's Archie and Joshua. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like hmm. I I don't know how if he how he blesses quote unquote blesses people with the snake anatomy but maybe Joshua would know more because he experienced it like he's got the the scale-esque patterns and he seems like he's gotten the teeth and like it's grown on him so maybe he has more information on it but I'm not sure so as you're know. saying this, um, younger Officer Rufio is my beloved. <laughs> my beloved. He's gonna come over to Bill and be like, "Hey, kid, I need you to." As much as you guys have been help, you know, we need to do our job. Can I and... have two minutes to finish this drawing? I'm almost done. He's just gonna look at you and just, just like, uh, fine. Uh, here you go, yes. officer. <laughs> it seems like this gentleman had instructions to come here and cause a ruckus. And he's gonna hand over the notes. Found these in his pockets. Alright, Dante's gonna take them. He's gonna nod. He's gonna be like, thanks. Now, start moving your way out of the circus. Get some. out of the way, you know, we we do need this to be an actual crime scene, and you know. Do you need some rope? We can get some rope cord it all. Go. <laughs> get to the front, get yourself a cab, get. Look. Uh, Dante um, Rufio does not have as much patience as Caesar Rufio, so I would suggest you GTFO, bro. Go back to the front, meet um, with your son. I'm just gonna so actually going to stop by Fox. Be like, if, go ahead. I was just going to say, so if I find any evidence, I should just bring it to the police station, right? Yeah. Works for me. And say that it was, you said, Officer Rufio, correct? Yep. All right, I'll have it addressed to you then. Thank you. Have a Good day. Meow, sister. Yep, and so Dante is gonna come over to you, Luis. Um and I actually think that, I 
So I think that would be a good place for us to stop since we are now at like two hours and 40 minutes. So thank you guys so much for watching. Woo!